Hi hey everybody. This is the 20 gallon tank I have set up in my wife's room. And I'm going to do a little bit of work to it tonight. I'm going to do a water change. I'm going to get the glass wiped down in the front. But the main thing I'm going to do when I get in there is I'm going to replace the filter. It's got a Tetra Whisper 20 on it. And they're cheap enough that when they start to wear out after a few years, you can buy replacement parts or you can get in there and tinker with them, put a little bit of uh, petroleum jelly or some baby oil or something on the piston, or uh, not the piston, the spindle in the impeller, and that'll sometimes quiet it down a little bit. But for the money they cost, for me, it's just easier to just go ahead and replace the filter every few years and the time has come for this one so here is a little listen to how noisy and rattly this one's gotten and that's the new one so these whisper filters really are quiet when they're brand new and as I've said in other videos, you really do get a couple of years out of them generally before they start rattling and making a little bit of noise. Um, so for their money, I love them as far as a hang on the back filter goes. I think they're great. So that's what we've got after the water change. I wiped the glass down. I still have the 2700K bulb on the left and the 6500K on the right, which is why this tank looks weird. It looks like i got two different... Uh, tanks in front of you. It looks like some kind of weird split screen or something. That is actually just because of the lighting and then the odd positioning of that plant right down the middle actually does give it that sort of weird uh, split screen effect. Uh, but that's all that's going on there. So with that filter, uh, I was able to get it as an add-on on Amazon for $9.67. So that's what I mean by they're cheap enough that after a couple of years of use if they start rattling and making some noise I don't worry so much about buying replacement parts or spending a lot of time uh, messing around with them for ten bucks I can simply replace it now if you go up in size if you get one for a 30 gallon or a 40 gallon tank uh, the price will go up a little bit but even the expensive ones are still under twenty dollars so they're a very very reasonable filter for what you get and they're just a basic hang on the back filter uh, no fuss no muss and they're a piece of cake. So that's pretty much it with this tank. I'm probably not going to be doing much in this tank in the future. I don't really have any plans of making any changes in there. Uh, at best, I will be getting in there and changing that light bulb. Uh, other than that, I don't really uh, plan on having uh, anything really going on in this tank. So as usual, we probably won't be seeing too many videos of it. But if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of the videos I got coming up on anything else. And if you are interested in seeing any other videos of this tank, this one is the one I call my wife's tank. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you real soon in the next one.